Winnie, the only reason why people watch our Path of Titans videos is because of you. That's not true. <laughs> so Whitney's improved massively. Right. Yeah, I'm that's like, right. Oh, look at her, she doesn't suck as much. No, that's me. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And welcome back to another unboxing video. We're not in the UK anymore. We're back in Japan. And hopefully this time, I don't know, it looks a bit better. Uh, I've sort of set up this place. So we're going to do a lot of unboxings. Mm. And as some of you may have noticed, the thumbnails in the last video, they were mwah, gorgeous. That's because I went outside to, to do all those in the Japanese heat and ended up getting about 50 midgy bites, which in turn, meant for the next two days I couldn't sleep because the, the itchiness was too much to bear. But I hear you crying, TMI Beaver, TMI. So today we're gonna be covering something that I was not expecting at all from Mattel, especially considering the crowdfunding escapade slash failure they had recently with the Gates and the Explorer and Tim and, and all that jazz. So, are you ready to see what I found when I went to Toys R Us? Ha-cha! There we go! Another Explorer. I am incredibly confused about this. Well, maybe a while ago. Time flies when you're having fun. We got the Explorer that came with Tim and the Night Vision goggles, and it also came with the T-Rex. And I don't know what number it was. I think we'll probably, I'll put in in post what number that was. God knows. Anyway, here we are. Now, the Mattel Kickstarter that they did to fund the Gates and the Explorer, they're like, oh, it's 05 or 04. It's different to the other one. So it was like, okay, well, at least this time we're going to explore with more interior done. It's different. Something kind of worth it. Yet, here we are with this bugger. And it's another Explorer. <laughs> And not only is it another explorer, well, at least they've done something different with it. Because it has the front that is destructible, which actually was a feature in the original one back in 1990, 1990. And also, if you push this, well, actually, that, there you go. It actually locks it down and the whole of the explorer caves in, which is a really cool action feature. It still perplexes me as to why we got another Explorer not long after having the other one, and also why do we get a Raptor with it? Don't get me wrong, the Raptor does this. Okay, that was not very impressive. Let's do that one again. There you go, some sound effects from Jurassic World, if I remember correctly. It's not a Jurassic Park Raptor sound, it's a lot of Jurassic World sound. Uh, and yeah, just a bit of a weird one. So it seems like for this one, they just took the original Kenner and did it again, except for their own version, because that one had the thing that came off. And you could also open the, uh, the hatch here to let people in. I'm assuming you can't open the door anymore now that they've got that. So how about we waste no more time and get it out of the box? It always starts out so well. There we go, see, I did it! We didn't even take the box apart! I am Boxman! I think Smosh will sue me for that. Does anyone remember that? Am I just that old? Do you not remember Boxman? He's a Boxman! Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm revealing how old I am. There's always an answer, and it's violence! And... <laughs> Here we go! Here is the set! We've got Velociraptor that's apparently been cheese grated because it's got giant slices out the side of it that I didn't even realize. Also, we can Hoodah! Does that have a code? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Glad to see they didn't make the same mistake that they did with my Red Rex. All right. Okay. Well, you get some sound effects with it. It's got very stiff joints. Flimsy. Not as flimsy as I have seen in the past with some of the Raptors from this uh, Mattel line. I just want to see a Raptor that kind of has a long tail. I don't know why they do it. They give the dinosaurs massive feet and then they shrink the tail down. Like it's, it's great up until there. That looks fantastic. And then, I don't know, we just ran out of plastic when it came to the tail. Just extend that. Just go boop, put it a little bit further across and, and you'd be great. Post James, fix it. There you go, see? You've got some cool light effects. You've got sound effects. It's a very kind of dull 
looking raptor, its mouth opens. Could we not have got a sick triceratops or something? Lord knows. Anyway, the main feature for this one is that, well, it doesn't have painted toenails and it's supposed to land on the jeep and do this. Hello. There you go, and it breaks it. Not one of the most satisfying of action features I've seen, but this one kind of just smashes in the jeep. Or Explorer. Sorry, Ford. Ford. Ford Explorer. Ford Explorer. Ford. Ford. Oh, don't sue me. <laughs> but what's really cool about it, actually, is that yes, you've got a way to put your little characters in there. You're from the Lost World, but we're traveling back in time to see if we can get you over your PTSD. And there you go, so you can get him in there. Little character. Look at him there. And then... Oh! What's good about this, actually, is that you can easily reset it just by doing that and the front comes back in but maybe you wanted more damage you can just kind of like pull it off i think if we push it all the way down and then so what's interesting about this is that they've kind of not really changed the explorer interior too much in fact to make up for this really cool feature that it is really cool they've taken more out of the interior of the explorer so if you just look at the back it doesn't even have any floor for the boot which is very interesting. So it's very strange. And I'm very curious as to whether the other Jeep that we unboxed on the channel with Tim was 05. And because this one's 04. No, no, they were both 04s. The only 05 was from Mattel Creations. Uh, why did they do this? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. But it's nice to see that, you know, you can recreate the uh, destroyed Explorer with the T-Rex like on top of it. Like this guy. Yeah. Bah! Yeah, there we go. We can recreate the scene when he tears the tire. <laughs> isn't the only vehicle that I found when I went to Toys R Us. No, a complete surprise awaited me right next to this explorer. Bring out something to do with Jurassic World. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> this! Oh god, no! How many different sets are there? Uh, uh, like Jurassic Collection or Legacy or god knows whatever this thing is. Dino Trackers, that's the one. Uh, we have this, which is very, very similar to the Mercedes G-Class, which was... I mean, there was a, a few Mercedes we've had in the past, like the Lost World one, but in Jurassic World... Again, Mercedes still had the license to sort of work with Universal and they put the G-Class in and they also put some new one that Claire drove for like two seconds. I can't remember. That was just a regular silver car. But the G-Class actually had a Jurassic World logo on it, which this one also has attached to it, but doesn't look like a G-Class. No. And who else do we have? Well, we have an Atrociraptor out of all things uh, a mercenary which could also be from you know jurassic world you had those dino containment guys that died uh but then you've got a jurassic world dominion a Drosoraptor, which looks nothing like the other ones that they've already released it's kind of its own thing and you can have a look at it at the back there i think what they're supposed to be going for is you know these are the trackers that catch the dinosaurs and stuff a bit like in jurassic park we had series two like the dino hunter kind of people in my humble opinion this being like the desert tracker set it's a missed opportunity why couldn't we have had a not Mercedes G-Class, if you didn't have the license, but if you've seen with the Lost World that you have the Mercedes license, why couldn't we have had a G-Class in the same colorings that this thing is with maybe Claire or maybe not another Rowan. Barry! Tell you what, I don't even think we've had a Barry. Barry's been a long time in the, in the making and he was in Dominion too, so maybe we could get a Barry. That'd be nice. Or as Minecraft calls him, Barry. Thank you, Barry. Can I, I mean, Barry, can I have some more? All right, well, let's get this out of the box then, shall we? All right, let's get the weird mercenary. ACU, that's the one. I couldn't remember what they were called in Jurassic World. AC units. And the back is supposed to be used for the Atrociraptor. Like you put it in there and then we get its capture gear on him. And now we've apparently captured the Atrociraptor. And we're just gonna drive it back. That is how you hold the gun, my friend. And then you can just stand on top of the thing. Like that. Like, look at what I found. Dinosaurs and guns. Like a true American. Driving down the highway with a gun out. Blam, 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 blam. So, I mean, I get it. I get what they were trying to do with this. You've got like the little antenna on the back of the vehicle. You've also got the antenna on the top of this capture thing which kind of makes sense, that's how he's tracking it down. And the raptor can like kind of do some damage to the thing. 
and it can destroy the the hood of the car vehicle thing. In, in all honesty, this could have been so much better. We could have really themed this. I mean, if it was going to be a G-Class, like the one in Jurassic World, why couldn't we have just kept this? And you would have kept the dino damage because the G-Class is just a thing, and you could have taken the top off. I don't know. Something a little bit different. I don't think we ever got a Jurassic World G-Class, apart from a die-cast model, which is just like a, a Hot Wheels or whatever you want to call it. But this could have been the first opportunity. We've had the Jurassic Park Explorer. Claire, you're in the wrong franchise. I mean, series. I wish it was the wrong franchise. <laughs> when he's not liking the, uh, the plant situation. We have the Lost World Mercedes. We don't have anything for Jurassic Park 3, unfortunately. Maybe we I'd really like a plane. That'd be really cool. And for Jurassic World, I mean, I think this was it? Hasbro had the license at that point, and when Jurassic World came out, they didn't really do anything with it. What, a, what an amazing couple they make. She shoots Dimorphodons like there's no tomorrow. And then he can just shoot uh, the Atrociraptor. It's a match made in heaven. There you have it. Two vehicle kind of play sets. Uh, well, I mean, what is there to say? Um, not really much. The Explorer, I thought we were gonna... I thought we were done with the Explorer, if I'm gonna be honest. But here we are, making another one, which kind of questions how many more Explorers are we going to have? We had the Jurassic Legacy set, which made sense. It's the Legacy set, it's supposed to have them. And then, what even, what even was this one called? This is called Epic Attack. This is the Epic Attack set. But for some reason, we've got the Explorer from the original Jurassic Park. What? This one, I can understand. You know, we're taking something, we're doing something a bit different with it. Although it, be, it would have been cool to have a cannon on the top to like shoot a missile. That would have been way better than a figure with a plastic gun. I don't know. What do I know? It's not like I've been playing with toys my whole life. So I guess there's only one thing left to do. A match to rate them. The Explorer, as I said, is really good. The Raptor, eh, it's hit and miss. If you don't have a Raptor, which at this point you probably do, I mean, cool, it's electronic, that's nice, nice touch, but I would have preferred more of that money have gone into the Explorer to just give it a little bit of finishing touches, especially when it comes to the interior of the vehicle. But in total, it's a solid eight. Like, the, this damage thing I have not seen in any other vehicle do. This kind of thing with that one I have, but the whole roof of the Explorer caving in as well as affecting the front of it to fall off, that's really cool. It honestly feels like sometimes they just make these things and don't think it through, and then after the fact they go, hold on a minute. We could have made that so much better. And with this thing, I don't know. I think the epitome of a half-baked idea. It should have been the Jurassic World G-Class. It should have had a character from it. It should have had something to tie it better. Maybe a little missile effect on the top or something. Something would be really cool than just having an open top and just the Atrociraptor comes in. Also, why is it an Atrociraptor? I, I don't... We'll give it a six. You tried. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but with the theming, you know, if it wasn't a blue and silver car, I wouldn't have even made the connection. But because you made it that way, and you gave it the Jurassic World logo that was on the G-Class, you knew what you were doing, but you didn't do it. Why not? <laughs> but anyway guys, I was gonna wrap this video. If you joined it, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. But who would win in a head-on collision? Ah! Ah!